guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Those of us who are joining us today for the first time, Karibuni, uh, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. So today I'm going to take us through the process of application for a course at the KMTC portal. A few people have had challenges on how to go about it. So this presentation is going to be in two series. We have part one uh, and part two. So part one, I'm going to take us through how to create an account at the KMTC portal. After creating an account, part two, we are going to look at now how do we do the actual application. So before you begin your application, ensure you have a few requirements with you so that you have a seamless process. Ensure you have your results slip or K K Kenya National Examination Council uh, certificate. Ensure also you have your ID. For those of us who don't have an identification mm -hmm. card, ensure you have your birth certificate because there are a few things you may need to refer. Uh, another requirement is that you should be able to have a computer, a laptop, an iPad or an Android phone uh, with good connectivity so that once you start the process, you're not going to be interfered with. It's going to be a seamless process. Um, so I think uh, we are get set to start. So once you open your laptop, you have ensure that you have good connectivity. The next thing is you, you open a new tab uh, where you will get uh, the Google search engine. When you have found the Google search engine, you click on the search tab and then you click uh, KM. So several options are going to come up. But if you are doing it for the first time, you may not have such options, but you click on enter. Once you've entered, you're going to be taken through a series of uh, options that you can click that will direct you to the portal. Uh, the easiest way to go about it is to pick the first option that comes up um, that has an URL of admissions.kmtc.se.ke. So you click on that. Once you click on it, it's going to take you to a portal, I mean to the dashboard. On the dashboard at the uppermost, you are able to see two icons. We have uh, the blue one which indicates application instructions and the red one is the online enrollment instructions. So for now, whatever will apply to us because we are only dealing with the first part is the application instructions. The online enrollment instructions, you will uh, come through it when we are actually being about to be enrolled to the program. You've already applied, you've gotten your admission letter, now you want to be enrolled as a student at the KMTC. So the first the first blue icon is what is our focus on. Then the other things we need to, to look out on the page is um, we have, you can download the application instructions or an option is on enrollment instruction, and as I mentioned, that will be beneficial when you've already gotten our admission letter. Then there are two uh, information, two points that have been highlighted. That for now they've temporarily waived the uploading of documents. This is because some institutions we have the recent graduates from uh, NEC who have not yet received their results slip, so they may not be able to upload documents. So they have waived the option. But this only applies to those who are applying what you call a pre-service application. For those that are going to apply for an upgrading course or for a specialty course, then you have no choice but to upload your documents because it is assumed that you already have them. Number two, it is ensure that you accurately enter the correct grade since any wrong information entered will lead to disqualification. And since you do not want to be disqualified, that's why I mentioned ensure you have your results slip with you. And for those of us who have not received a results slip, ensure that you have the message that you received from the NEC that indicates the grades that you scored, your overall grades, and the specific grades for each different subject. On, the, on my right upper end, we have uh, and two icons as well for login and, and one for register. So if you had already created an account, you will come straight to login. 
But since we are doing it from the first step, our main focus will be on the register icon. Another thing you may want to have before even you proceed is that you may need to have a working email. Uh, a working email is important because it is that email that you are going to use to create an account. Preferably a Gmail account is the preferred email uh, so that you have an easy time when you're coming to your application. And then there's a note there, make sure you pay the right to the right account number. So once we are through with registration, they're going to create an account. An account number, it will be identified to either your national ID or birth certificate. That's why I mentioned you should have either of the two. If you don't have a national ID, ensure you have a birth certificate because that is what will be linked to your account. And any payments done should be linked to that number. So let's go straight to the point. Huh? Uh, so as I mentioned, our our focus is on registration. So I've clicked on the register icon. So you're able to see update is indicated register. Uh, it is, we are also informed that you're advised to go through to application instructions before doing application. So I'm going to quickly click on application instructions when you click on application instructions, it's, it has several options for you to look out for and choose whichever that applies to you. So we have the first one is procedure for online enrollment after paying commitment fee. So commitment fee is only paid after you've gotten an admission a letter. So that won't apply to us now. Then we have in-service in user guide. In-service user guide are those who are already in the profession and they already have their first training. So maybe if you want to upgrade or to do a specialty course, then this is the section for you, the indicated in service user guide. The next, um, the next option is for pre-service user guide. And this is what applies to fresh applicants, those who are fresh from high school, fresh from their O levels, they've not had any training whatsoever in the healthcare profession, that this is um, your, your guide so you can either view or you download it and then you read it first before you come back to make an application and then since now we had mentioned before that enrollment is for those who've already got an admission letter there is also a procedure of how you're going to pay your commitment fee and finally we have the advert it is very important for us to go through the advert because some courses have changed their entry requirements other new courses are come, have come up, others that were there have been scrapped off. So if you had already had an idea of what you wanted to do, it is just important for you to confirm that indeed the course that you want to do is still being offered and if the requirements have changed or they have remained the same. So I've clicked on the view button. It's going to bring you to this new tab. Uh, it has all the um, all the courses, the revised ones, and the ones that are being offered, plus the fee that you're going to pay, it also has entry requirements. So you're going to go through, first confirm if you've qualified. So for now, because we are not going to look at all these courses, our focus will be on nursing. So under nursing, KMTC offers three main uh, programs. We have Diploma in Community Health Nursing, we have Diploma in Registered Nursing, Mental Health and Psychiatry. We also have Diploma in Kenya Registered Nursing and Midwifery. Earlier on, I made a presentation on the, the different types of programs and the Diploma on, in Nursing Training. So you can quickly go through and check uh, so that you are well aware as you make your choice, which one is it that you feel would be uh, in line with your career progression. So our focus will be on the commonly known uh, uh, the commonly known training in nursing, which is Diploma in Community Health Nursing. So ensure that you have a mid-grade of C, C in English or Kiswahili, and C in Biology or Biological Sciences. Then you are also required to have a C- in any one of the following, either Chemistry, Physics, Physical Science, or mm. Mathematics. Then there, the intake is September and March, uh, so September 2021 and March 2022. Diploma in Registered Nursing, Mental Health and Psychiatry, 
same requirements as uh, the diploma in community health nursing, same as Kenya registered uh, nursing and midwifery. All they have the same requirements. The only difference comes into the specific trainings, and you can always refer to what I mentioned before. Uh, also of, of, of importance to note is that the KRN mental health and psychiatry has an intake in September 2021 and March 2022, and KRN nursing and midwifery March 2022. So once you've confirmed that you have met the minimum requirements, we can go back to our original um, application portal. So again, the instructions there for you to go through, most of which I've already mentioned. So let's click on register. By this time, I already have uh, a working Gmail account. So I'll input uh, my credentials there. So we have Ruth Opio. I've created just a dummy email account so to help us understand the application process. So we have I created an account with the round for at gmail.com. Once you have put that there, you need to indicate the password. In most cases, the password that you're indicating is the one that you use to access the said email account. So you click on register. So once you've clicked on register, it's going to bring an option up there if you want to either to save the password or not. Since this is my personal uh, laptop, I'm going to click on save. But if you're using a laptop or a computer or a gadget that is not yours, or you're applying from a cyber cafe, don't save the password because anyone can be able to access your account. So I'll click on save so that next time I'm not able, it will be easy for me to directly log in. Once you clicked on save, you'll be brought to this uh, registration part of the dashboard. So it has three sections, your personal information, your contacts, and your next of kin. So my first name, if you have the three names, you indicate them uh, there. Uh, all the names that you use, official names, you need to indicate as, as indicated there. And then you have your nationality. If you click on the drop down arrow, it has options. So depending on what your nationality is, you can be able to choose. Let's assume my nationality is from Benin. If I just click on Benin, then it comes up. Uh, another option, uh, maybe since I'm in Kenya, I'll just use Kenya, which is the first one there. And I should. So as soon as I choose Kenya as my nationality, the country of examination also indicates Kenya. But again, my nationality could be Kenya, but my country of examination is a different country. So again, you have an option to choose. You can choose either of the countries listed there. So mine remains the same. Uh, so here I can use um, a, an ID or a birth certificate number. So I'll just choose any of those indicated down there. And then gender, you can choose whether male or female. Uh, date of birth, you can click on the icon of a calendar. It will bring you the calendar you hit on the year. Uh, so in this case, you can be able to scroll. Um, so let's assume, let, let me choose 1990, November, what might be November 10th. Huh? That's my date of birth. All I'm using are just dummy figures for us to be able to understand. Then the county, my county can select any of the counties highlighted. Let me choose um, Kwale County. Then sub county, they have three options. I can choose in Samweni uh, constituency. I can choose Lunga Lunga here of examination. I can just choose any of them. Uh, okay, not any for our case. I'm just using any because it's a learning session. But you, as you indicate there, uh, the correct year that you sat for your exams. Now, some of us might have uh, repeated a class. So the year that you're going to indicate is the year that is the year whose credentials you're going to use or whose performance you're going to use. So let's say, for example, you did your case with SE 
in uh, 2000, the year 2000, then you went back and repeated the same for four. Maybe you're not satisfied with your grades. You went back and researched at, uh, in the year 2001. And maybe you're, you're qualified using the results of 2001. That is what you're going to indicate. So I'll choose that. So the index number, I can just put, you put your correct uh, index number. So I'll just put some figures there. Uh, so let's assume that is my index number. And then there's a very important question there. Do you consider yourself a disabled person? That is very important. If you're disabled, click yes. If no, you see, if you click yes, it, 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 it gives you further options. What type? Is it physical disability or mental disability? Then you may need to give options. This is very important because it's going to be used in your placement once you qualify to be admitted as a student. Then you click on next. The next thing is going to bring us its contacts. So I can put my contacts there. Uh, let's assume it's 300. Uh, you indicate your postal code for now. I'm just choosing a town. I don't know the postal code. I'll put here Elgamaravin as one of the towns. And then applicant's uh, number. So once you've chosen an applicant number, it is important for you to also have a number of your next of kin. So once you've decided which number you're going to use, maybe I can input that number. And then you cannot proceed when if you leave any blank spaces. So I'll choose another random number to use, maybe 0716. Um, 93 93 7702 yeah so that's my alternative you can put either if you have two phone numbers or a number of your next of kin that is important so that once they communicate if they don't find you in your previous or the first number they can get you in your subsequent number then you click on next once you click on next it is your next of kin details. Who is your next of kin? So maybe I can put uh, Lady Jerut Otino as a next of kin. Then here you click what is the relationship or what is my relationship between Lydia Jerut. So is it a brother, a sister, a parent? Let me put a guardian. So, so you are able to see I've gotten a message. It says I have an error because my national ID is already taken. Uh, that means I have used an ID number that is already existing. So then it guides you on what you need to do in such a case. So I mean, it takes me back, it has taken me back to where my application is and I need to make changes. So I just make some changes on the, on the ID number. So maybe 242, I can say 243. Uh, six seven for instance as my ID number. Uh, I'll just use any random. Oh yeah, so I'll, I'll I'll need to input again all the other fields. So there is was Kenya. Uh, there is Kenya as well. My gender is female. A date of birth remains the same. My county is Kwale. There is Kwale. There is Kwale. Uh, Sambuini sub county, Lunga Lunga, year of examination, that's what I've chosen. So, what's my relationship there? It's guardian. You hit on submit. So, my account has been created successfully, so it has brought me back to the dashboard. And from the dashboard, you can be able to see some changes compared with how we started. So you can be able to see on your right hand topmost, we have Ruth Opio and many other icons that you can play around and you learn. Very important, you are required to pay an application fee by a person to your account number. So they've created an account number. If you note, this account number is the same with the ID number that I've been put. If you realize I got an error, it's because the, the ID number that I've indicated had already been assigned to someone else. So you cannot have two people assigned to the same account number because of our differences in the ID. Then you have your dashboard. Uh, you can quickly skim through. So we, 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 are, we are through with the first section. The second, 
and the other section up to eight, it will be important for us and we will go through them when you go to a second section. Uh, that is how when you make the application. So you are able to see where they have indicated that I've not applied for a pre-service course and I've not applied for any course as yet. The only thing I've done is to create an account. So our uh, presentation ends there for today. Thank you so much for listening. If you have other questions, feel free to comment, uh, like or share. You can also follow me on and ask on my social media platforms. That's my Instagram and also on Facebook. Uh, you can also subscribe so that when I make subsequent videos, you are able to be notified. Um, so if, uh, stay tuned to the next presentation, which will be on the actual application of a course. Thank you for your time and God bless and stay safe.